Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes that I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, guys, you knew my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. So, uh, I have had multiple, multiple subscribers, uh, patrons that have requested a particular defense to shut down this pro style offense out of the gun tray flex. Uh, the plays combination historically is going to be levels Y corner, the SC corner, another play that's going to commonly get used is dagger, uh, and then obviously some run plays and some other plays too. Uh, but we're going to concentrate on three of the most popular plays, which is going to be the dagger play. Uh, we're going to look at uh, also the SC corner and the levels concept. These hands down are the most popular plays that actually get used online. I'm going to show you some things that some players do. This is not all, all the things that people do with this particular play, but because of the combination of all these different routes, this is one of the harder, harder offenses to stop on defense. Now, I'm going to show you a defense that's going to slow this down. I'm going to bird box this, de this defense, and basically meaning that we're going to blindfold your person, make it more difficult for them to make reads, but they can get by being blind. Uh, in a sense that if they make adjustments, if they go ahead and force force reads or force passes and stuff like that, they can still squeeze some passes in and get away with some stuff. But if you if you if you basically blind your your opponent, make it difficult for them to make their reads and force them into bad decisions, you're going to get more stops. You're going to get uh, instead of getting chewed up by this defense. So. The defense that I'm going to run is going to be unique. Uh, that it's going to be a, a defense that's going to have a fairly fast setup, but it also is going to be a universal defense that you can find in every single playbook in the game. Now I want to show you this uh, against basically a cover two and why this 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 particular play is so effective. So uh, the SC corner is a play that a lot of a lot of people like to use online, um, and really what it is is it's going to open up that corner route. You've got the fly route, and also you've got uh, basically a route by the by the uh, tight end so what most people do is they motion or guy over and what they'll do is they're going to look for this route right here which essentially is going to be a big money play right there now what makes this this se corner so effective too is that if you got a guy that actually uses that that area over there and I'm just running this against cover four, not cover three or like that. You've also got this this route over here by the tight end that you can pop right over the uh, top of the coverages. So that play is very, very effective. And when you blend it into the rest of the scheme, it even becomes even more effective. So uh, the, the other play we look at is levels corner. Anybody who's ever played online has, has faced levels corner. It's a very difficult thing. Adjustment I would make, especially if I've got a player like Tariq Hill is to streak him up. And all you're going to do is look high low. You've got the corner route. If the if your opponent's not paying attention to it, uh, if 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 the guy floats up, you just take the done underneath route and force your opponent to stop that. And also, you've got basically a levels concept going over the middle uh, and underneath uh, with that. So if he starts chasing the high low manually, he, you're, you're going to basically have those areas of the field over the middle that, that he's going to go after. Now, the last play we're going to take a look at in this this little mini scheme is is this play right here which is dagger and um, if you leave it set uh, you can go ahead and, and actually hit the little dragger underneath but what makes this play really really tick is this this crossing route on the back end side by Watkins I want to show you why this play is so special so a lot of players what they'll do is they'll go ahead and drag up uh, the tight or actually uh, streak up the tight end and then what's going to happen is Watkins is actually going to get past the coverages, allowing you for a nice big corner out. So I want you to take a look at basically why this, this particular formation is so good is that you're essentially going to be giving your opponent the, the same look across the board. You have a corner and a middle route over the middle with the tight end and, and, and the slot receiver. You've also got basically a, a route that's going to go over the top on the right-hand side. You've got a levels concept over the left. Um, and then on top of it, what you can do, especially if you get a guy who plays a lot of cover three, I'm, I'm just going to go and show this to you, even though it's not the right read, is you could take a shot up top with a Troy kill uh, to go get a one-play touchdown. So that worked out perfectly for me. So I just wanted to show you how that works. So what is a defense that can slow this down? It's not going to stop it completely, but it's going to slow it down, and it's going to force your opponent to go into uh, make bad decisions, force them to throw the ball, challenge your defenders, and that's the best way, uh, best way to go and stop this defense. So let me go and show you which defense we're going to go after. All right, so the defensive play we're going to use is going to be the big nickel over G. 
in every single playbook. So you can actually go ahead and pick this up in every single playbook uh, that you, that's out there. Now, uh, the key thing is that you want to make sure that the that the corner that plays this position right here uh, is one of your faster corners. So 90 speed plus, especially if you're playing against a team like the Chiefs or whoever, have somebody that really could take the top off the ball because he's going to do a lot of solo assignments. So the better the defender, the faster the defender, that's going to be ideal for you. Now the play we're going to use is going to be the invert cover six or the cover six invert now how i like to run the signature play is we're going to flip it towards where the tight end and the running back is in in this uh, tray formation so wherever the run where the where the tight end is and the, the running back is you want to have that safety that's coming down into that purple zone that's going to be the area that you want to run this with now with this defense what we're going to do is we're going to base a line we're going to show uh, we're going to we're going to press our defenders and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our our corners and actually uh, make some make some adjustments. So the right of screen corner, which is the X icon, we're going to go ahead and put him into a, a outside quarter. So we're going to hit our, our Y button or triangle button twice, select his icon, and then we're going to take the right stick and flip it to the uh, to the stick, and that's going to essentially set that up. The other adjustment is we're going to take the left of string uh, corner and we're actually going to go ahead and put him into a squat or soft squat. So we're going to go ahead and hit the Y button or triangle button twice, select his icon, and on the left stick we're going to flip that in so it's a squat and defense like this. Now the last adjustment we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our defensive lineman and basic, basic, based on tendencies, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this defensive lineman and actually put him in a vertical hook. So if you actually highlight him, you're going to go ahead and hit the, the X button, uh, basically go ahead and pull down on that, or you can make a, make a, a global adjustment. Now, the guy I'm going to use is going to be this linebacker right here or safety whatever position player now the key to this particular player is that we're gonna watch the tight end and we're gonna take the tight end we're gonna drag him out until he gets to basically to the numbers and we're gonna cut back inside or we're gonna follow him deep and then if we get past about 15 yards we're gonna come back down and play this area because we're, what's typically what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a guy that's actually gonna if he streaks up this tight end uh, you're gonna follow him and then let him go because you're gonna you're gonna get some over-the-top support but we're gonna play this box this is gonna be the area that we're gonna play now um, for the sake of me running this uh, by myself I'm gonna just go ahead and man this guy up on the tight end but you have to understand that this is gonna be usual territory you probably want to have your most athletic safety strong safety that you can put in this position or maybe a linebacker that's fast with good hands because he's going to be making plays for you the better the, the better the player the better for you so I'm gonna go ahead and run this particular play for you right now the first play we're gonna take a look at is going to be uh, this this corner out so essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and streak this guy up and most players basically what they'll do is they're gonna go ahead and take this guy and motion him over and they're going to snap him as he gets to the line of scrimmage. Now, they're going to be looking for the corner route, but as you can see right here, there are a ton of players right there, and I want to show you basically the rest of, rest of the progressions with this particular player, so uh, with this, this, the way this play is set up. First and foremost, uh, this, this particular scheme actually works with having a guy in a flat, a flat position. We're always going to be taking away the flat with this over-the-top safety. The safety is always going to go and take away that flat. So if he forces that ball into there, that's fine. I'm going to have a person in position to go and tackle that or funnel, it back, funnel that running back back into the inside. Now, the other thing, too, is that we want to take away this tight end route. So a lot of times what people will do is it, it, they'll have a corner route and they'll actually throw that. You want to go ahead and make sure you take that, that read away and actually get in the passing lane. Now, the SC corner, basically what makes this play pop is that you've got a streak and you have a corner underneath it. So I want to show you something. Watch what happens. Because we actually have coverage floating back, they actually get into the zone and actually go ahead and, and cause some jumble, jumble things up. And there's going to be guys actually going to falling into the zone. And also look at this, this guy right here. This guy actually falls back into the zone too. So you're going to have two on one taking away these passing lanes. Now, over the top two, 
is that you have this matching concept with the safety. The safety is going to play this ball over the top. Are you going to get beat one-on-one? -on -one? Yes, you will. But it's better getting beat one-on-one -on -one where you can make a play in the ball or actually get an interception than it is having nobody in the area whatsoever. So uh, I can understand, yes, you can get beat on a one-on-one, -on -one, but as long as you have a player in that area, at least you give yourself a chance to stop it or get a turnover. So this basically, this setup shuts down this, this offensive play altogether. So let's go ahead and see how it works against the other plays too. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do um, the levels corner. And just to go ahead and keep our opponent honest, we're gonna go and streak uphill right here. Now, let's go ahead and watch the little flat route. Flat route actually is getting bottled up right there. We're gonna have our streak right there. We're gonna look to the corner, and that's gonna put a, uh, put a player right in position to go ahead and pick that off. And then uh, we've got basically the levels concept that we can go ahead and go after, and that's gonna be where you're gonna have the opening in the field. Now, outside of some adjustments, I want to show you once again, this route is going to be taken away immediately. We're going to take away the tight end route because the corner actually, uh, the, the quarter, uh, the quarter uh, adjustment, the, the, the outside quarter adjustment with the defensive back plays the corner route and gets into the passing lane. And that's going to funnel basically everybody back inside. And also look at the streak. Once again, the streak for that big money play, that guy is, cha is in, in front of the def uh, in front of Tariq Hill down the field to take away that one on, that one on one ball. Now, um, we've, we've got essentially these guys sliding over into position to take away some of those reads right over the middle of the field. And this is what happens is when you see this guy pe peel off in the corner, your user is going to peel back into this zone right here to take away any of those crossing routes. So if he thinks this is going to open up, you're going to basically go ahead and just peel right, peel right off and then actually go ahead and peel right back into this. I'll force the guy to go ahead and make a pass where he's, he's, he's going to have to go ahead and, and throw towards the sideline with this guy on, on, on sideline positioning against him. I'll go ahead and take that chance whatsoever, uh, whatsoever just to go ahead and have him throw right back into my user. Now what about dagger? Now if he runs dagger stock, um, I'm typically not going to go and chase after that, that tight end route. I'm going to let that go uh, because I can always bait him with a flat or I can, I can bring a guy down there. So I'm going to let that go. But what's going to happen is a lot of times uh, people want to try to go and throw this ball right here and get that off. Now, there's a quick little adjustment. If the guy jumps a dagger a lot against you, uh, there's an adjustment that really can throw off his dagger read. Now, this is going to kind of mess around with stuff like that, but if, if he wants to go ahead and use dagger, he can, he can definitely do that, but uh, it's going to uh, really cause him some hassle. So, one adjustment that I actually discovered is that if with dagger, if you do um, cloud flat adjustments, so basically wire triangle underneath, wire triangle and over the top, where you've got cloud adjustments, what's gonna happen is that this route by the uh, by Watkins in dagger is not going to be uh, is not going to get off the ball as easily as it normally does. So I want to show you basically on how that uh, that route actually gets bumped off the line, and it's going to totally mess up his timing, and it actually can give you an opportunity to go and hit him with some pressure. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at this in instant replay. And then if you have a guy that runs a lot of dagger against you, you can go ahead and run, uh, basically mess up his money route by doing clawed flats with this coverage. So watch what happens. This guy, Watkins, who's actually a fairly good route runner, actually gets pushed off the line and shoved and carried off the line with clawed flats, basically taking forever to get down the line to get across the, the, the field. And that's actually falling back into a passing lane. So this is essentially, you got a passing lane that's gonna fall back here. You're gonna be using this guy, and this is gonna be the guy that we're gonna go ahead and chase, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take away that route. So he's gonna come up and actually take this this route away. But you can see that even though he pa he actually goes ahead and gets this ball off, uh, because I'm not using the de defense, 
that route actually gets thrown off as routes and essentially is just going to get basically taken out. So let's go ahead and take a look at another adjustment that people do with Dagger. So a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll streak up the tight end, able to block the running back because they need to get, get a little bit more time, and they might drag up that backside, uh, that, that, that slot receiver hill for underneath. But I want to show you um, once again how this route concept actually goes ahead and gets in the way to play this route and then you're gonna have over-the-top help for you uh, that you would actually play so uh, we're gonna watch this our user guy once again the user guy essentially is gonna be this guy right here that we're gonna go ahead and carry with this route and then uh, what's gonna happen is once he gets about 20 yards up we're gonna peel off now he did get basically a, a good route so you might actually have to carry that but I want to show you that it's taking away that crosser. Most players are looking for this crosser, and because of the cloud flats, they actually push this guy out of the area, and then you're going to have basically another defender that's going to be in the area to go ahead and take that away. So this essentially is going to shut everything down. If he wants to go ahead and, and, and do the underneath route, he can definitely do that. We're going to have basically a bottle up. Uh, the tight end route essentially would be probably something you might want to be concerned about. But really a lot of the action with the tight end is going to be basically going off to the corner route. You're not going to have a lot of streaks. And if you do, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll chase that and let my, my opponent dump down. So this guy would essentially would go ahead and chase after that tight end and allow everything going underneath. So uh, let's go, go and show it to you if I just manned up that guy. So once again, if we go ahead and chase, what this is going to do is it's just going to go ahead and take away that passing lane. And as you can see right here, these guys are bracketing, so we're going to have basically a two-on-one uh, two type situation. Now, uh, you'll most likely have a tight end that actually gets you past you, but if you're using a defensive back, there's usually not going to be many tight ends that are going to be faster than a defensive back. So you can carry, and then you can peel off to come down. So you can like carry it about 20 yards and then peel off and come down to the crosser because that's going to be next progression. But you still, he's going to have to throw that ball really close to the sideline to go and take that away because you can see this defense, this uh, this linebacker's in the area to go and take that away. And then you obviously have the check down. People that play this scheme, they really don't like to go and do the check downs. It's not that's not where they want to go and get their 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 money at. They want to go and hit the corners. They want to go and hit hit the, hit the deep balls and actually force your opponent uh, force you uh, to get to, to defend over top and then open up underneath. But this is just a this is a way to go and slow this 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 offensive down. You'll probably see an offense like this a lot in like draft champions because it's a very common play set, um, and it's a lot of a lot of mutt players use it and a lot of pro players use it. So so something you guys should want to go and take a look at this defense. Is it perfect? No. Will you get beat? Yeah, you probably will, but at least it's going to give you a scheme to stop it. So if you struggle with some kind of a defensive scheme to go and stop this 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 formation, go ahead and take a look at this and go ahead and make these adjustments. And they're fairly simple and straightforward to make uh, to, to adjust. So once again, I'm a subscriber. Thank you for your support, guys. I'll be rolling out more Madden offensive game tips to go ahead and take your game to the next level. So thank you for your support. And until next time.